Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? Should I even ask why they call you Old Wet Grundy? Or does it speak for itself? It's because I'm old. And I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're pissing yourself right now. You're, you're pissing yourself right now. Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is a good one. So where is the entrance to Town? Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop an old town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Hey, Grundy, we appreciate it. Unintended. That's old, Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charm and young women's numbers like you. Have a good time in there, youngin. <laughs> Look at that weirdo in the scary bounty hunter suit. Let's get him! Dragtown's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. Hey, hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them and, and I'll let you through. How's it going? G3 scum! Hey, fire! Yeah, real people! Time to take out the trash! Oof, I, I got too confident. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry. What's going on over here? I just have a weird, mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we should, we should maybe de deal with it. Drunk recruits. And who? How's it going for you? Stay alive. Yeah. Four of them. Glove shots ready. All right. Looks like things have quieted down a little bit. You know, Th thanks to us. You know. Quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's poke our way into Drag Town now. Let's go to Drag Town. What? You want some trouble? Oh.
No problem. You did it. The town's all cleaned up. I keep tab to I don't know how many times I've told the recruits not to cause trouble out there or if someone's gonna kill them. You told us to kill Tomatoes, them. Tomatoes, potatoes. I'm just a dumb gate guard. Whatever, head on through. Watch it, why don't you? for glory then join the g3 cartel my name's douglas the g3 chief of training and torture ignore that second bit for this ad this was just about the training Ooh, check it out that was douglas we're hot on his trail about the torture. Uh, the last one was about- This zone is part of the Mothers Against Violence Treaty, so no violence allowed here. Take care. Mothers Against Violence, huh. I guess things are gonna be quiet around here. Mothers Against Violence come about- Wow, you can really tell the G3 run this place, huh? So like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is- <laughs> Another batch of new recruits. Taking that view, isn't this place great? A whole city hanging under an asteroid. You can really get away with a lot of crime down here. Oh, getting nauseous. Oh, <laughs> it looks like the G3 are having some greeble trouble. Going down, that's the thing. Quality quality, I guess. Only no yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. Also torturing people. Enemies of the G3. Random strangers who look to be funny. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you want some goop, right? Uh, 
you know what? Yes. How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there. Just uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm gonna oh, oh, this fucking soul! Oh my god, the smell! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm gonna... look at you. You're all gooped up. I. Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it, lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is All that? Right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torture that was in a the Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. Free, you know? The G3 payroll must be fucking a million. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Buddy, I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy, really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. All right, then. You do remember how to jump, right? You're an asshole. You know that. Let's see those moves, buddy. What you got? Oh God, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Ah! I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. All right, I see what's popping. No, did you just get hurt? Don't embarrass me now. Damn, good jump. That last bit was tougher than I thought it would be. Congratulations, shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. What the fuck I look like waiting a whole nother hour? There's gotta be a way we can skip all this part. Okay, finally. Oh, let's just bust out of here and have some real fun. Let's get back to the real fun. There goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here. My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna... Gonna throw up. You really helped me? Oh gee, I'm I'm so grateful. Follow me. You gotta connect these so I 
can get through and save my family. Okay, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Oh. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family. My wife, Brittany. My kids, Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on. You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. All right. Douglas, here we come. That was the hardest part behind us. This is basically done. We finished this shit. We are fully out of <sighs> Okay. Well, what is this? Congratulations to all you worms who made it this far in your training. It's now time for the final test. A bloody free for all. Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys. Oh.
work, pal. That's the last of them. I guess we're officially in the G3. Congratulations, graduates, on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. are probably so scared without me. I'm torturing them right now. We have knife, you let's use them. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's floor and against violence. Hey. Oh shit, here we go. Holy f you gonna You're a real Oh, 
yo, what up, Dr. J? Every time you go away, I miss you more and more, man. Look at Dr. Jupy. What's up, Dr. Jupy? Oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out? Whoa. I'm... Do this! Oh, huzzah! Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come! Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to school? I'm really, really trying not to think of you. Your head. Keep going, you can do it. Oh, I can't wait. Good team. <laughs> Well, shit! D does that mean he's... Huh? <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? Of course you are. Choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh! Ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Well, cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself oh, at that shit. party last night. I think that's a Not photo of the famous Douglas. dude who invented translator micro. Why the fuck does I'm he know Doug? Now that we've got a hold of these humans, we're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Get excited! Please, idiot! Hey, 
You want to know my real hat trick? My crystals stick in the back and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. Crystals. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? But, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Could you turn with your micro brackets in, please? Uh, uh... All right, good. Get over here. Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's room 203 down the... Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman. Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch us next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps, I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with.
What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn. You, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. I can help, uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Pleasure doing. Come back soon. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Klug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a catnap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! I love you! Next time, um, look at me. I... I don't like being on a TV. People tell me to be on a TV because they say it's how it's supposed to be, but I don't like doing it. And you are the first thing I... Nice! Well, I gotta 
tell you, Gene was right. That is going to come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I may make the world think I'm happy. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you wanna get started on those. And Jill came tumbling after. Carrying Jill went up the hill to find